Howdy folks. So there are tons of articles on the internet with little bits of WordPress code, you might call them snippets, and the hard thing to figure out is what to do with them, where to put them. There are a bunch of reasons to only do this if you've got a full site set up and you're really a developer, but sometimes you just need to quickly get some code onto a site. And there are a bunch of plugins for it. One I like is uh, the Snippets plugin uh, called Code Snippets. Uh, it's got uh, 300,000 active installs. It's from Code Snippets Pro. If I install and activate that plugin, I can put little bits of WordPress code onto my site. So let's quickly pull one up. So I'll install and activate the Code Snippets plugin. And what that gives me is this little snippets menu where I can add a new snippet. Now you want to be careful with this. This plugin does have some safety features, but they aren't exhaustive. Um, so don't just copy and paste blindly. Ideally know what you're doing and have some sense of why you're doing that. Um, that said, here is a little snippet of code that lets me change the login logo on my site. Um, so I can copy and paste this into this plugin and because it's already implicitly PHP, I need to delete this view raw that I copied and pasted incorrectly. So this is a little snippet of code that says change login. And what I can do is tell it where to run and I can also set the priority. So if you've ever actually done uh, hooks and filters in WordPress, you know that priority is a big part of this. And that's how this whole thing works. So if I save and activate the snippet, I can do it. Now, the big downside is here is that let, let's say that I do something that's obviously wrong. I can break my site. <laughs> now, this is a catch of the error from the snippets plugin. You'll notice previous version of the snippet isn't changed. You can go back. Use the back button of your browser. Uh, I just got an email that I'd broken the site and it's because I deleted this thing and so I'm calling an invalid function in WordPress. Because this plugin has that kind of catch feature, it's a little safer than a lot of other options you might have, but I still think you should be thoughtful about when and how you use a snippets plugin like this, but I do think the code snippets plugin from the code snippets pro folks, that's code snippets, is a pretty powerful and useful version of it and I like that safety catch. So it makes it a little safer. Cheers.